Renewable energy is one of the biggest scams I've ever heard of. It's unbelievable how everybody is duped by renewable energy. I was duped by it. I really believed everything that Elon uh, Elon Musk and all these other guys that are touting about renewable energy. But it's so far from the truth. Okay. Now I have a video uh, of a gentleman that he has done more research on renewable energy and it's an unbiased opinion. He's not in the oil and gas industry. He's more of a tech geek and he has an awesome video. I will attribute to him uh, later, but uh, in, in the video, you could watch it and I'm going to chime in on the things that he has to say. But bottom line, there are bottlenecks in the renewable energy. There are hurdles that we have yet to overcome until these hurdles or overcame, which are massive hurdles. We cannot replace fossil fuels with renewable energy. People are jumping on the renewable energy bandwagon, leaving the oil and gas industry behind too soon. We're on the path. We're on a collision course for not enough oil to meet demand. And we're going to see a massive increase in oil prices. Look, I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm good with that. All right. But I want to destroy this argument in this lie. Will renewable energy replace fossil fuels? Maybe in 20 years. That's a long time from now, guys. A lot of us will be done investing by then. Let's watch this video and I'll chime in. But one of the things that's preventing renewables from taking over completely is the issue of storage. Because we can't always rely on the weather, we need effective ways of saving up enough energy for when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing and to provide added resilience in case of natural disasters. But if we want to replace fossil fuels entirely, we need to build batteries that can store enough energy to power entire cities for much longer periods. So how might we achieve this, and where do we currently stand with the technology? I'm Matt Farrell. Welcome to Undecided. We're all familiar with batteries, from the simple double A's that make our TV remotes and flashlights work, to the lithium-ion units that power our portable devices. They're a convenient form of energy storage that we use every day and perhaps even take for granted. They become an essential part of modern life and our dependence on this technology is only going to grow as we transition towards electric vehicles and continue to decarbonize our energy systems in favor of renewable alternatives. Without batteries that can deliver grid scale storage, we won't be able to rely on renewables alone. Without batteries that can deliver grid scale storage, we won't be able to rely on renewables alone. Without batteries that can deliver grid scale storage, we won't be able to rely on renewables alone. Fortunately, good progress is already being. I think you get the picture. Until we come up with some batteries that could handle grid scale storage, we cannot rely on renewable energy. In other words, fossil fuels you hear until they come up with the battery technology. And I, I love when he said, but we're making great progress. Well, that's like you're sitting there in the doctor's office and say, hey, you, you have three months to live, but we're making really good progress on an, on an antidote to your, your, your situation. How's that going to make you feel? So, here's the thing, guys. The, the, what they're trying to get you to believe is that, hey, renewable energy is ready to replace fossil fuels. We just need to expand. We just need to take this little gizmo that's going to fix all of our energy problems and we need to multiply it times a billion. That's all we have to do. No, the technology doesn't exist yet, guys. Don't believe the lie. Let's continue to watch. As well as being built into our phones and laptops, lithium ion is the most popular form of battery for storing energy generated from solar and other renewables. Due to its applications being so critical and far reaching with everyone now owning a phone and electric vehicle investment soaring, R&D in this particular field has been going into overdrive and costs are beginning to come down. Tesla's battery day is due any day now and it's widely believed that they've broken the $100 per kilowatt hour milestone. However, lithium ion is still far from cheap when implemented at mass scale which is what we'll need to fix our renewable problem. However, lithium ion is still far from cheap when implemented at mass scale, which is what we'll need to fix our renewable problem. So guys, uh, so you renewable guys, um, lithium batteries is a key component of green technology. 
and lithium is mined from the ground. You know what else comes from the ground? Is oil, fossil fuels. Hmm. Did that deflate your renewable energy argument? I think it does because without batteries, your technology doesn't matter. You can't use it for cars. You can't use it for houses. You can't use it for any intensive purpose. You can use it for calculators. But if there's a cloud, the calculator stops working. Not only that, lithium, most of the biggest deposits are not in America. So in order to make your renewable energy industry as big as oil and gas, you're going to make other countries richer. China has one of the fourth biggest ones. You're going to make China very rich. Are you loving renewable still? Let's continue to watch. And that's not the only drawback. Producing the millions of cells that would be required for a grid-level storage system is an extreme task. And manufacturers are already struggling to cope with the demand for batteries from other sectors such as consumer electronics and automotive. But perhaps the most important point is that they can only be used in relatively short durations. It's not ideal when you need to have our grid-scale batteries discharged for 10 hours or more at their rated power. There have also been concerns about some of the materials used to make these batteries, namely lithium and cobalt because they'll become more scarce the more we consume them, which would push prices up further as well. But these issues haven't been putting off too many people, at least here in the US. Over the past five years or so, the vast majority of energy storage systems deployed here are using lithium-ion batteries. And the developments that we're currently seeing in this space are likely to continue trending this way for a while. For example, lifespan has been another problem area for lithium-ion historically, but this appears to be changing. CATL, the Chinese company that makes electric car batteries for the likes of Tesla and Volkswagen, claims to have created a power pack that could take a vehicle more than a million miles and last for 16 years. So first off, CATL makes, supposedly makes a car battery that could go a million miles. Okay. Well, what they're talking about is over the life of the battery. Okay. You're going to have to recharge that sucker a lot of times. Now the average American drives about 16,000 miles a year. That would mean it takes 60 years to prove that this battery can actually last a million miles. There's no way to prove that. They use tech to prove it, which they're a tech company. The other problem is it's a Chinese company. M most of these batteries, 90, a high 90% of the batteries that are manufactured for Tesla for, for phones in the future come from China, come from Japan, come from different countries. We're going to make Japan, China so filthy rich because of the renewable energy scam. That's, that doesn't fit well with me. You know, shale oil and gas at least they were making Americans rich. Okay. Um, that's, 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 that's a major, I have a problem with that. Okay. That's number one. Number two, right now, right now, lithium is one of the key components for batteries, for cell phones, for laptops, for Tesla, but once they go to scale, a grid scale where we could start actually replacing 10, 20, 30% of today's gas powered vehicles, you're going to see a major demand for lithium for batteries. And guess what happens to those prices? So the prices you are seeing right now for electric is a major facade. There's a lot of subsidies that are being given out for electric vehicles. For green tech, I mean, have you ever had your uh, some solar power panels put on your roof of your house? A lot of subsidies for that, okay? But when everybody starts using green, those prices are going to be skyrocket, and and then you're not going to be able to compete with fossil fuels, okay? Doesn't even compete. So what what I foresee happening? It's really simple, guys. We're on a coll collision course for not having enough oil because people are jumping the oil and gas ship because they believe the lie. And so, and, and, and for good reason. I mean, because the Democrats have inundated us with the green 
tech buzz. If you go to Biden's website, one of the top things is he talks about how uh, fossil fuels is destroying the oil and gas industry, uh, the, the, the world, okay? Global warming. And he's talking about a, uh, uh, a renewable energy revolution, just like what we said with the shale oil and gas revolution, okay? You read the news from 2012, everybody was talking about the shale oil and gas revolution. Well, now they're talking about the renewable energy rev- revolution. Guys, it's a big scam. The, the, the same guys that funded the shale uh, 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 revolution are the same guys funding the renewable energy revolution. The Koch brothers are in bed with this thing. Wall Street is very heavy into this thing. They're spending uh, 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 a lot of money on renewable energy right now, but the bottleneck is batteries. And once we discover a, a technology that could store this power, the newer batteries that could store enough power to where we could furnish enough electricity to the grid, the demand for those batteries are going to be enormous, putting us in a situation where electricity is going to be far more expensive than in in our cell phones. Right now, a a high-end cell phone is about 700 bucks. The new uh, Note 20, I believe, Ultra or whatever you call it, it's a $1,400 phone. Imagine when batteries become such a high demand because of renewable energy. You're going to pay over two, two to three grand just for your phone because of the battery alone. I hope you like this channel. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And we'll talk soon. Thanks.